Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video brought to you by the Consolidated Employers Organization. Today we're going to have a little bit of a look at the conduct of commissioners that do preside over matters at the CCMA and the Bargaining Council. Now before we can go into the specific elements of the conduct, we're going to have to revert ourselves to the Labor Relations Act. Now section 117 of the Labor Relations Act identifies commissioners of the commission how they are appointed and also sets out certain guidelines as to how they must act during these processes. Now generally it is expected of a commissioner to firstly be objective and act impartially when adjudicating these matters. Albeit that the, the statement is made that these are guidelines, it does seem that the commissioners part-time and permanent are bound by these guidelines, therefore making them more rules than anything else. A commissioner that is in a actual breach of these matters can be removed by the commission. So let's have a look at the specific guidelines that commissioners must follow during the adjudication of matters. Firstly, they must act honestly, impartially, with the due diligence required, as well as independently from any outside sources or influence. Then, they must also conduct the procedure in a fair manner and they must also not be swayed by any external inputs from other individuals, union, employers, etc. They must also not solicit appointments as commissioners. This must not be confused with commissioners that state they are available on specific dates. They shouldn't go to bargaining councils and attempt to solicit appointments. Further. If requested to do a matter, they must conduct this process promptly and they must do it competently. A commissioner that does not feel he has the required knowledge to conduct a matter should not put himself up for a specific arbitration. They must also avoid possible impartial relationships. This could be financial, via business or even social relationships. Further, they must also not influence officials at bargaining councils or the CCMA to obtain these appointments. It does seem that most of these guidelines boils down to the impartiality of a commissioner during a process. So if there is a conflict of interest between the commissioner and parties that are attending matters, this conflict of interest must be shared with all the parties present. This might very well lead to the recusal of a commissioner, but the failure could be a gross regularity on the, on the part of the commissioner. Now this was dealt with in the KwaZulu transport matter um, where it was extensively stated that this is a duty of a commissioner. On the other hand, uh, commissioners also have a duty to enforce the helping hand principle. Helping hand principle is basically there to firstly assist uneducated uh, attendees at the CCMA and also during the conciliation process to see if they cannot get parties to um, lock mines and at that way or in that way settle matters. Now this was also a duty that was clearly expressed in the Inkomati joint venture matter where they also stated that it might be a gross irregularity if the commissioner does not fulfill this mandate. A commissioner during a CCMA sitting is also well within his rights to separate parties in an attempt to settle the matter. He may have private conversations with individual parties to obtain information and do the necessary fact-finding missions. He is however not allowed to divulge the information that he has obtained during one of these private conversations to one of the other parties. Guys, we have to see the duties of commissioners have to be fulfilled with a certain level of care, fairness, as well as professionalism. If they fail to fulfill this mandate, it will very well be tested through the review process where certain cost orders might be applicable. Guys, that's all for, from me today. Thank you very much for joining us. Please like and share the video, follow our Facebook page, and you'll have a brand new video next week on our webpage.